All right, boys and girls, ready for day five directions for your packet. Uh, the first page for reading is you need to read about Jane Goodall, and then you will answer questions um, one, two, and three. Those questions, the answers can be found in the story. On number four, that is kind of what you think. You're going to um, tell what else you would like to know about Jane Goodall, and then share your ideas with a friend. Now, you don't, um, if you don't have uh, a friend to share your ideas with, you can always do that with your mom or dad or sisters or something, okay? Sister or brother, whichever, whatever you have. And then for your writing, you are doing a personal narrative, thinking about a time where you were surprised by someone or by something that has happened. Think of the surprise as the watermelon cut into three slices, the beginning, middle, and end. Think of dialogue, what people say, and details that go into each seed. I kind of did it, um, when I did it, I said, you know, something I was surprised about what happened recently was that the governor said we could not go to school. So some dialogue, I said, schools must be closed to keep the spread of coronavirus to a minimal. That is what the, pre um, the governor said. And then the detail I said was, I was sad that I didn't get to see my kids anymore. Then what happened next? The principal and superintendent said we would go to school online. And then I said um, on here, Spearville School will continue online schooling. And um, the detail I said is, and then I had to go plan on what to do with other teachers to find out what we could have our kids do. And then what happened last is um, I got to see my students on Zoom. And so, you know, something that I might have said was, hi, kids, do you have any questions? And um, a detail that was from that is that I know that the students are working hard on school from home. So that was my personal narrative, but you can pick a different um Something else that happened to you, if you would like, that could this would also be something that you skip if you would like to skip that instead of um, doing other days. And then for grammar, you are going to read the story and fill in the proper punctuation. Now, punctuation is not just end marks, boys and girls; it is also quotation marks. So I'm going to tell you there are five quotation marks five sets of quotation marks. That means actually 10 because you have a beginning one and an end one. You're gonna have five quotation marks for people um, for when someone says something. You're gonna have nine periods, two question marks, two exclamation marks. And I do have some commas in there. I see about one, two. I have two commas. Well, no, one comma. Okay, so there are more than one thing you're gonna have to look for, okay? Make sure you, when you read it, if say somebody said something very excitedly or um, hurt, like they're hurt or something scared, make sure you it is an exclamation point, okay? Now if they're just telling you something then you can end it in a period, or if they're asking something, make sure you end that question in a question mark, okay? Like I said, there's quite a bit of mistakes in here. And I know last time you guys wrote in uh, black. I think I'm going to have you go ahead and do this in red when you are going on here and putting periods and things like that. Oh, red. Okay, because um, it sticks out a little bit more for me. Um, sometimes it was hard for me to find where you guys corrected your mistakes um, because it was still in the same color. So I'm going to go ahead and let you do red on this one, okay? And I'll grade it in a different color. And then for math, boys and girls, you're going to do a calendar and answer these questions, okay? Um, make sure that this says, you know, how many Tuesdays, that's just going to be a number, what day on the calendar, that means a day, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Number three, it's asking what day, so that's going to be, it's going to be a day again. But then number four says write the date. So you're going to say, you know, Monday, April 22nd, 2000, um, 2020. 
okay, or something like that. And then this also says, number five says, write down the date in two ways. So, you know, you're going to say it like I just did. Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. Or you can write, you know, um, how, how many months is April? January, February, March, April is four. Okay, so 4-2-2020. Okay. And then for Matthew, also we're going to do this, complete the bar graph. I do not want you to um, to cross this one out. I want you to do this one because this is something that we haven't done this year in math, and I think you need to try. So you need to read this down here, um, this uh, graph or um, some details for the graph. It says Chicago is eight people. So you can see this bar goes all the way to eight. Okay. New York is six people. So this goes up to six. They gave you Baltimore. You're going to have to draw Baltimore going all the way up to what number it is. San Francisco and Detroit. Okay. Then you're going to answer these questions. Or this one says color two cities that receive the same number of votes red. So you're going to actually use your highlighter and color. Which one of those were the same? And then number two, which city is the most popular? You can tell me which city by typing it or by writing it. Which city is least popular? And then what is the difference in votes? Difference means subtraction between San Francisco and New York City. So that's for math for day five. And then for social studies. You don't have to do anything else if you did the other pages the other days. Okay, there must have been only five. So and you, um, I had described this one and all the other ones on the other days. Okay, and then for science, I don't believe I have to describe any more either because I think what I had you do for the directions on the last one was the last one. Now, um, so you can cross this one out. Okay, and all this fun stuff you can cross out. If your parents would like to go on there and try to um, print this off, they are more than welcome. And I can even send it to them. But um, you do not have to do this. You can't cut these things out here on the computer. So you're not going to be able to do these things on there. But, okay, boys and girls, that is the end of the week. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a good weekend.